Get on to rock, get up to burn, stand with the pride, ever feel your desire. One day I noticed that my life was broken. It was not me who was controlling. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to week number three here in the Mid-Atlantic Modeling League Spike Magazine Trophy. And tonight, it's going to be the Brewmeisters versus the Dead Presidents. Malik versus me, Chaos Dwarves versus Undead. Clypheus, thank you for the bits. <laughs> this is the first game in a doubleheader tonight. Let's take a look at the standings before we take a look at the rosters. We are in Division A this evening to start with, at least. The Knights of Nuffle, coached by Clavius, a Brett team currently in first place with their win this week with a record of 2-1-0. The Damaged Dragons in second place currently undefeated 2-0-0. They have yet to play this week. Skitter Twitch Die Die is game and team coached by Berserker Tempest in third with a record of 1-2-0. Tonight, it's going to be the fourth place Dead Presidents versus the Brewmeisters. In Division B, the Dinner Bell Darlings continue their undefeated streak. The 3 0 0 in Division B, a Dwarven team. The Double Dippers, coached by Sweet Bunny and Necro Team, also undefeated 2 0 0. They've yet to play this week. The Arendelle Icebreakers, a Norse team, coached by Chime. In third place, also undefeated, 1 1 0. Followed closely behind by the Carnivores, coached by Nick Saint and the Kislev Team, 1 0 1. First up, let's take a look at the roster for the Brewmeisters. They're coming in at a TV of 13.50 on this Monday evening. They have 12 players on their roster, two Bull Centaurs, uh, five Castorf Blockers. They picked <laughs> they picked up a Minotaur, Getty Lee. Getty Lee himself <laughs> on base, <laughs> naturally. <laughs> Four Hobgoblins as well. <laughs> you can see the number one Bull Centaur has picked up the Break Tackle Skill. I think this is a great skill to pick up on a high strength high speed low agility player this means he gets to use his strength instead of his ag when he dodges that's going to allow this bull centaur to go where he needs to go rather than be tied up all the chaos Dwarf blockers these are dwarves they're slow but they're very very resilient with an av of nine they have uh, a thick skull they all have tackle they all have block two of them have picked up the guard skill as well getty lee the minotaur level one minotaur he has mighty blow horns and frenzy mighty blow means he's going to get a plus one on his armor or injury roll horns means he's going to get a plus one to his strength if he takes a block or a blitz and that uh that'll certainly play a factor this evening and frenzy means he's going to chuck uh chuck another set of dice if uh if the first block dice only results in a push the four hobgoblins are the fragile players on the team with an av of seven uh two of them have the block skill one has wrestle and uh, the level three ted the number 16 hobgoblin he's picked up fend as well three team rerolls one oppo three fan factor he'll be up against my team the dead presidents this evening the dead presidents what there we go <laughs> i don't know why my my uh my uh, motto gets screwed up every now and again uh, the dead president's coming in a tv of 1300 also a 12 player roster here uh two whites two ghouls two mummies and everybody else is a zombie we picked up an extra zombie because we were over the treasury cap you can see george washington the white he's a, a level one white on the pitch he is uh, yet to pick up any spp this season abraham lincoln the number two white 
has picked up the guard skill. James Madison and Thomas Jefferson are now both blodger ghouls. One has the guard skill, one has a strength of four. Harry Truman, the number six mummy, has guard as well as break tackle. And Mr. McKenzie, formerly of the Brewmeisters, he's playing for the Dead Presidents now. He has picked up the block skill as one, as, as one as well. One cheerleader, one necromancer, three team rerolls, seven fan factor. Uh, and the coach assistant, of course. The dead presidents, I think, uh, <laughs> Clavius says a strength for blodger, ghoul, ugh. <laughs> uh, the dead presidents, I, I think, are, are really playing standard undead ball here. I think on offense, they're going to cage up. They're going to leverage those high strength mummies. They're going to just move down the pitch as far as they can. Uh, if they can't make it to the end zone in time, they've got those ghouls who can break away very, very easily of the MA of seven. Um, and uh, try to get the, the last minute score there. Uh, Thomas Jefferson with a strength of four and being a blodger, he's a good all arounder. Yeah, he's fragile. <clears throat> However, strength four means he's a good blitzer. Um, strength four and uh, also means that he's tough to take down. He's a good ball carrier as well. Uh, one cheerleader, one coach assistant means that uh, the advantage for uh, brilliant coaching and cheering fans is gonna go to the dead presidents. They have three, uh, three re-rolls, that's the sweet spot. They have a plus four fan factor advantage here. They'll probably pick up the fame as well. So the coaching staff, definitely in the dead president's favor. Um, lots of great positionals. These zombies are very, very inexpensive. Uh, they're very, uh, very good at marking players. They're very good at taking fouls as well. Whereas the Brewmeisters, they're basically, um, they're they're like a halfway dwarf team right you you have the cast dwarf blockers these are your dwarfs uh but the two bull centaurs i think are the stars of the show on this roster they have a strength of four they have an ma of six they have sprint and sure feet that means they can take three gfis they get a reroll on a gfi uh brewmeister smith has the break tackle skill so he'll be able to get in the position these are decent ball carriers if you can get the ball in their hands it's a it's a 50 50 ball pickup for them generally speaking but otherwise if you can get in the hand in their hands it could be tough to take them down uh, their big weakness as a ball carrier is that it's very very easy to tie them up but with a break tackle on brewmeister smith not so easy anymore to tie up a type of bull centaur the cast dwarf blockers they're going to want to stay grouped up uh, grouped up they want to take those uh block skills and leverage them to the best of their ability uh, they want to use those guard skills to get the assists to help do that he did pick up the minotaur the minotaur only has an av of eight but he has mighty blow horns and frenzy this is a great player against uh, these these strength five mummies. He can go in on the blitz on a mummy and provided the mummy doesn't have an assist or that uh, the Brewmeisters can counter the assist, he can get a two die block on a mummy. Uh, that's great. Two die mighty blow block even with frenzy. So uh, the Minotaur is going to play a big role in this game. I think tonight the mummies are really the the pillars that keep the undead team being able to go toe to toe with this uh, Dwarven team. The mummies are what pushes back this Dwarven, uh, dwarven defense. The mummies are what uh, uh, prevents a, a Dwarven offense from just uh, setting up at one part of the pitch and just plotting down turn after turn. Um, <laughs> Clive says, man, the captions are so close yet so far. Yeah, <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> Uh, the Hobgoblins are decent uh, ball carriers as well. They're also decent foulers. Uh, I think the momentum is going to be in the hands of the Brewmeisters tonight, uh, and they're going to decide uh, the momentum of this game and how this game's going to be played. On offense, if they leverage those Bull Centaurs to take some blocks, that's going to be a very different game than if they leverage a Bull Centaur as a ball carrier. If they use those Hobgoblins to foul, that's going to be a very different game than if they use those Hobgoblins to get that assist or to control the pitch. Remember, he has a hobgoblin with Fend. Uh, Fend means that if you take a block on that player, you can't follow up if Fend is used. Um, he can use that. He can use his wrestle skill to, to exert some pitch control as well. Uh, he, has, he has a number of different options with the way he's kitted out this team, and he's gonna be deciding how the game's played tonight. The dead presents are gonna have to react turn by turn to the Brewmeister's play. If they can do that, I, I think they can win tonight, but it's really anybody's ball game tonight. Um, 50k in petty cash will be going back to the dead presidents. That's a babe. Uh, the dead presidents do have 130k in the treasury. We'll see if they spend anything out of the treasury. Um, yeah, <laughs> well, that's about it. Uh, we'll head over to Cabal TV now. We'll try to get this game underway. 
Uh, it doesn't look like the opponent's in Discord. That's fine. Oh wait, not Cabal TV. I'm playing. <laughs> let's uh, let's play in a league. Let's see if he's online. Not online yet. So let me uh, let me reach out to my opponent. Fifty K, not a big get difference in uh, in uh, TV. Again, that's that's uh, that's a Bloodweiser babe. Um, not much else, but the Dead Presence do have a hundred thirty K in the treasury that they could spend if they so desire. Boot polish, welcome to the stream. It is indeed a double header. Uh, while we wait for our opponent, why don't we, why don't we look at uh, at the schedule? After this game, coming up at about 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, that's UTC minus 4. It's going to be Donkey Teeth versus the Double Dippers. That's a Division B matchup. Dead Fred versus Sweet Bunny. Uh, Donkey Teeth is a Wood Elf team. The Double Dippers are a Necro team. That's going to be a fun matchup as well. Fragile, uh, the, the Fragile Wood Elf team uh, with those uh, amazing War Dancers versus a Necro team that has lots of fun positionals, uh, not the least of which is... Uh, uh, not the least of which is that uh, uh, werewolf. Looks like my uh, opponent's ready to go here. So let me reach out real quick. Kiss, 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 kiss. We're about to get this game underway. <laughs> Here we go. The Brewmeisters being the uh, what's what's the opposite of an underdog? The top dog? <laughs> Pro dog? <laughs> they get to choose their inducement first. Uh, of course, they choose nothing. So we can pick up a babe for free with our petty cash. But I tell you what, I was thinking about this. I was thinking about this, and uh, I, I think I want to bribe. I think I'm going to dip into my treasury for 50k. I think I'm going to pick up a bribe. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> SPB said enough to get you a wizard. Sure. Let's go bribe. Let's do it. Foul City, USA. It's the up dog. <laughs> Don't, I'm not going to fall for that. Get out of here. <laughs> We are here at the brewery. The Brewmeister's the home team for this evening. Still a little early in the season for stadium upgrades. There's uh, no upgrades on any stadium th uh, so far this season. If you see them at all, you'll tend to see them in the Dungeon Bowl and the Blood Bowl. Looks like clear skies for this first game in tonight's double header. Again, it's really anybody's ball game here. Brewmeisters uh, will almost certainly be setting the tempo for the entire game. That, of course, can change as pitch control changes as, and as uh, player advantage changes. All right, we'll be on offense to start. Brewmeisters setting up their defense. Looks like they're setting up an anchor defense. Uh, naturally, the Dead President's got the fame advantage. Got the plus two fame advantage, in fact. Dead Presence with that uh, that four fan factor advantage. You roll a uh, you roll a two d six and you add your fan factor. If you exceed your opponent's fan factor, you get a plus one fame advantage. That can help you out on the kickoff event table. If you more than double your opponent's uh, fan uh, fan factor result, then you get a plus two fan advantage. Oh, it is not clear skies. It's very sunny. Minus one on all passing rolls. Uh, not going to affect the dead presidents too much. Not really a passing team. The Brewmeisters uh, probably won't affect them too much as well. It'll depend if the ball gets in the hands of the Hobgoblin or not. 
but uh, probably not uh, a big factor here in tonight's game, at least for this first drive. Oh, I'm up. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's set up our deep, our offense now. Uh, let's put let's put uh, you here. Let's switch you guys around. I really should save my setups. I don't know why I don't do that. Uh, where do I want my guard? Uh, we'll put guard over here. Who's going to be the ball carrier? Who needs some SVP? Uh, you're both doing all right. Let's, let's put it in the hands of James Madison. Yeah, James. Uh, no. Let's switch it around. I'll get the guard on James Madison. We'll do that. Um, yeah, that'll be our setup. Good luck, man. Here's... Good luck, man. Here's the kick. Neither team with the kicker. Oh! <laughs> Each team gets a bribe. The dead presidents are going to start this game with two bribes. <laughs> Two bribes for the dead presidents. One for the brewmeisters. Let's go ahead and uh, start uh, setting up this ball. We'll go here. Let's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sure. Um. You there. Put you there. Put you there. Put you there. Put you there. All right, let's go ahead and take some blocks, uh, shall we? Um, let's take this block. Two die block on the line. We'll get a pal. You'll go. We'll go here. We'll follow. Broke armor. Got a stun to get this game underway. Um, who you got? Oh, that's a good gun. That's a good one. Doug McKenzie! Uh, let's go ahead and put you out here. Um, you are, oh gosh, two McKenzies to choose from. Uh, let's pick you to die a block, get a pal, we'll go here, and, um, let's get put. Broke armor, got a KO, one-man player advantage for the dead presidents. And now let's put you here, to die a block, get the knockdown, you can go here. And we'll follow up. And then we'll put, uh, put you here. Go for the ball, pick up three plus pick up here with an AG of three. Good pick up. That'll be our turn. Turn one back to the Brewmeisters. 
Blue Polish says, oh, I forgot a grudge match. Not a grudge match. This is uh, the Brewmeister saying, uh, nice to see you again, Mr. McKenzie. What a pal you are. <laughs> SP Beaver says, nice hits so far. Yeah, worked out pretty well. Mighty Blow is uh, is scary. Those had the dog. The number eight Chaos Dwarf blocker will move forward over in the right uh, on the right side of the uh, pitch here. Takes a mark on JFK. Flaka says, this is very much a bash versus bash game. It is indeed. These are two uh, very bashy teams. I was gonna, I was gonna foul, uh, <laughs> I was gonna foul one of these guys on turn one, but I, I thought maybe I could get a better foul next turn. Claude Elsinore marks the number seven zombie on the left side of the pitch. Two die block on JFK is gonna be a knockdown by the mighty Blow Bull Centaur. Gets a KO. Ten v ten on the pitch now. Centaur uses the rest of his movement to move two spaces back to play some defense. Blitz has been spent. This means the Minotaur are probably staying still. He's a wild animal. If he doesn't block or blitz, it's a 50-50 chance to move. There's no real penalty to it if he fails it, so long as he's in a good position already. Just means he doesn't get to take his action, but he doesn't lose his tackle zones. Gets through the wild animal roll. He's going to move up to the uh, 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 move up to the right side of the line here. I mean, we're going to have to murder you. We're going to have to murder you. He's got a oh, he's got guard. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get you here. Why is that a two die up there? Let's go ahead and um, we'll go here. We'll go to center pitch. It's fine. do that and then if I come in let's see so he's got negated negated so he's got five six versus my five why is he oh because he's got card um let's um let's um oh where do I want to move you let's put you um Put you Let's put you here. We'll take this blitz. Why not? Two die blitz. Uh, we'll get a pow. And you will go here. And we will follow up. I foul this fella. Got a stun out of it. Did not get called off the pitch. I think that'll be our turn. Turn two now for the Brewmeisters. Brewmeisters currently have a two-die block against John Adams. Oh, 
Oh, no, they don't. So uh, one die block against John Adams. Two die block against Andrew Jackson's going to be a pal here by Hosehead the dog. Breaks armor. Gets a stun. Lots of armor breaks in this very bashy game. <laughs> Clive says the bull centaurs look like giant angry bumblebees with their color scheme. <laughs> Two die block coming on uh, John Adams here. Did I block? Gets a push result out of this. He's gonna have to follow up due to frenzy. Now it's an uphill block. Oh boy! Sometimes you're the blind squirrel, bro. He's <laughs> gonna get a knockdown on John Adams. Has to follow up here though. Good uphill block. Well done. Takes a mark on uh, the number seven zombie. He'll get a two-die block out of this. Double pals. He's looking for a nine plus. Probably doesn't follow up here. We'll see. Yeah, he does follow up. Fair enough. Two bull centaurs left to move. Blitz still on the table. Two eye blitz on the back left corner of the cage. It's going to be a both down result. He's going to have to re roll this if he wants to keep the drive alive, but it's one of his last actions, so he might not re roll it. Yeah, he decides not to. Oh, I didn't realize he got. Ah, I didn't look. Gets stunned for his trouble. Wow, now we're going to have some fouling options. Um, All right. Well, you're going to stand up. You're going to stand up. You're going to take a two-die block. You're going to get knocked down. Uh, you're going to go uh, here. Gonna armor on the Minotaur. Got a stun as well. Um, let's... Make this, um, let's go ahead and put you here. Put you here. Um, let's put you here. Probably not going to do our blitz. We'll see, though. Um, uh, if we're not going to do our blitz, let's see. Who can we blitz? We can blitz you, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, yeah, we're going to blitz you. So let's go ahead and take this block here. Uh, we're going to push... We'll push you here. Uh, let's stick with it. Take a blitz on a hobgoblin. Two-die blitz. Double pals. He's going to go... He's going to go here. We're going to stay put. Work armor got a KO. One main player advantage back to the dead presidents, I believe. We'll go back in this cage. Um, go ahead and take this foul. Got a stun out of it. We're going to call off the pitch, but we're going to spend a bribe. And the ref has accepted our bribe. We've got one left in the kitty. Turn three back to the Brewmeisters. Hey. 
<laughs> what a crooked ref. <laughs> Fifty-five seconds into the turn, Brewmeister is considering their options here. They're deciding whether they want to get aggressive on this cage and try to stop it or not. There are three stunned players. Uh, they need to be careful of holes opening up here. Uh, if they are going to get aggressive, then uh, uh, that's going to dictate uh, the dead president's direction of movement. Two die block on the back right corner of the cage. Two die blitz rather. Going to get a knockdown against old George Washington. It's a mark on the ball carrier. Resets the defense, and that'll be the turn for the Brewmeisters. Turn four now for the Dead Presidents coming up. Oh, he takes the one die block. It's going to be a both standing result. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow. Turn four for the presidents now. Dude, I block. We're gonna get the pal here. Um, let's put you here. And follow up. Dude, I believe means I move six. That's one, uh, two, three, four, five, six. Right. One, uh, two, three, four, five, six. here go here Take this blitz here. Two die blitz. We'll get the pal. He's gonna go here, and we're gonna stay put. And we'll go here. And we'll go there. And then we'll go there. Here. Go there. And that'll be our turn. Turn four now for the Brewmeisters. Brewmeisters came in on, uh, uh, got aggressive on defense here. This is what we were talking about when we mentioned momentum. Uh, let me pull this up. When we talk about momentum, he came in 
here. This is where the cage was. This meant uh, our direction meant here. If he would have reset his defense, uh, our direction probably would have been laterally. Dude, I stand up blitz on Harry Truman. Got a push with horns. He has to follow up here on the frenzy. Gets a pal. He's looking for an eight plus. Doesn't get it. Trying to move this uh, this mummy out of position. High strength players are often often don't find themselves out of position because they can uh, often very easily get a, a two die block uh, where they are. But uh, that horns is what we were talking about with the minotaur. It's gonna give him a plus one to his strength when he's uh, blitzing. Two die block on George Washington is gonna be a knockdown. Ted, the number 16 Hobgoblin with a knockdown. How dare you? Blitz has been spent here on turn four. The number two, Bull Centaur stands up. He does not have break tackle. Goes for the GFI, or GFI. Goes for the dodge to the GFI, gets both die rolls. Well done. Two GFIs with the Bull Centaur. Wow, well done. Turn five for the Dead Presidents now. George Washington's going to stand up. Move him into position. And a Harry Truman. Uh, let's see. Um, Move James Polk in here. We'll take this two die block. Uh, we're gonna push out of it. We're gonna push him here. We're gonna follow up. I think what we're going to do is um, take the two die block here. I'm really running out of time. Double pals. He's going to go here. We're going to follow up. The one die block, uh, both down results. We'll take it. And we got stunned. That'll be our turn. Turn five for the Brewmeisters.
<laughs> SPP was just time to dodge it and surf. <laughs> Two die block. Double pal is going to be both standing result against George Washington. Spends the reroll. Gets a push. He's not going to have a reroll left for the turn. He's down to two for the half. Clive, you said very greedy. That's not greedy. That's, uh, that's politics. Two die block on Andrew Jackson. He's going to get the knockdown. It's very presidential, thank you. One minute to go and turn five for the Brewmeisters. They're going to take a mark on James Madison. Blitz on James Madison. Two die blitz. It's got to be a push result. Doesn't follow up. Doesn't want his uh, little centaur getting locked down and beaten up. Takes a one die block on Mr. McKenzie, gets a push. Doesn't follow up, keeping the defense intact. Two die block. And John Adams is going to get a knockdown again. Remember, this is a frenzy block. in number six to take a mark on Mr. McKenzie. Turn six for the dead presidents. All right, let's go. Two die block. We'll get the knockdown. You're going to go here. We're going to follow up. Got a KO. Is that two-man player advantage? I'm not sure. Poor Rosie. I'll stand you up. I was going to move him, but I think instead what I'm going to do is um, put you... Here for the two die blitz. Two die blitz. We're gonna push. Um, let's put you here. To follow up. GFI! Good GFI. Put you there. Put you here. I forgot to stand you up. I'm so sorry, John Adams. Please forgive me, John Adams. Um. Um. Oh boy, what do I want to do with George Washington? Um. What do I want to do with George Washington? Um, not concerned about the Hobgoblin too much. 
But is that the best place for him? Um, I could put him here. Ties up one player. Um, let's go here. That'll be our turn. Turn six, back to the Brewmeisters. Two die blitz on John Adams. Gets the pal. That'll be the blitz spent. Trying to get in front of the cage with Brewmeister Smith. Goblin had to do that. I didn't want to go for it, but to die blitz against Mr. McKenzie. He's gonna get the knockdown. Has to follow up due to Frenzy. GFIs to get a mark on James Polk over on the left side of the pitch. Turn seven for, uh, oh, is he going to dodge out this blue centaur? <laughs> Failed the dodge. Spins the re-roll. Got the dodge. Well done. Turn seven after the dead presidents. Oh man, why didn't I just blitz here? <laughs> why didn't I just blitz here? <laughs> oh well, that's fine. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, let's go. Let's do. Um, Here. Uh, we want to keep this free, right? So that means uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got to keep the diagonal free. It's going to be a dodge, which means uh, we'll blitz from here. It'll be a GFI blitz. Um, let's. If I blitz, two die block, we'll get the knockdown. We'll go here, we'll follow up. Um. Um, let's put you, let's put you here. Uh, 
All right, let's do it. Three plus handoff. Fail the handoff. Got to spend the reroll. Um. Good dodge. Two GFIs. There it is. One to zero. Good job playing like me. One to zero. Dead presidents are going to take the lead in this game. Life is that's apparently our gym for the warning worked out. <laughs> I believe it's gonna be eleven v eleven on the pitch. Let's set up our defense. We've got two turns. Um uh, two turns. Um Let's uh, let's play for real. Let's play for real. Um, let's put you here, and then let's put uh, you here. Let's see. SPP, SPP, SPP. Looking good. Um, um, yeah, let's go with that. Two turns for the Brewmeisters to try to score here in the first half. They have one re-roll remaining. Remember, they also have a bribe. Back to 11 v 11 on the pitch. Each player, or each player, each uh, team started with a 12 player roster. Each team has one player out on a KO. If there's a riot, there's a 50 50 shot, whether a turn is added or a turn is removed. We're setting up a three-man offensive line currently against the, the uh, three-man defensive line of the Dead Presidents. See if they try to score. They might not. I mean, it, it, I mean, if they can do it, they'll do it. Uh, that'll set them up, uh, put them in great uh, position to win two to one. But they just don't want to overextend to do it because they might uh, they might lose. Who's a player? <laughs> Hank the Ranger said, is there Spuds McKenzie on the Chorf team? Uh, no. There is not. <laughs> 16 seconds left for the Brewmeisters to set up their uh, offen or, uh, offense. They have a four-man offensive line with the that minutes are on the line. Let's, um, let's kick dead center. Really coaching, we're gonna get an extra reroll that we can't use. <laughs> Quite. <laughs> Turn seven for the Brewmeisters. Yeah, super useful. <laughs> 
Dude, I have black on the line. I'll get the knockdown on Harry Truman here. He got the plus one due to horns. He's gonna break armor. Gets a stun. We talked about how that horn is gonna play an important part in this game. Dude, I blocked double skulls on the line. You'll have to re-roll this. Got a pal on Herbert Hoover. Herbert Hoover, new to the roster. If you, uh, if you can tell me which president, uh, which numbered president, 10th, 39th, 40th, Herbert Hoover was, you will win a free copy of nothing. Courtesy of the Mid-Atlantic Modeling League. Two die blitz on John Adams. Gets a push out of this. Sweet. President 87, that's correct. He is President 87. Or at least he will be in the future because he's undead now. And the laws will have changed. <laughs> Failed the ball pick up here. Brewmeisters will not be able to score on this half. Uh, so let's... Um, Let's... Uh, you know what? You want to come at me? You want to come at me? Then I'll come at you. All right. Uh, first of all, you're going back here. And you're coming back here. You're going back there. You're going back here. I'm gonna I'm probably gonna leave him prone because I think I think I want him to try to foul him. So we'll take the two-die block here. We'll get a pal. We'll go um, here. And so put. We're gonna foul. I know it's with the blocker, but we're gonna foul. Got an injury out of it. That's worth it. We got called off the pitch, but we still have a bribe. Look at that referee taking our money. Absolutely worth the trade. Final turn of the, uh, final turn of the game. Final turn of the half. Brewmeisters. They got a block on the blitz and potentially a foul and a pass. <laughs> Boot Father says, don't be a McKenzie on Melek's team. Ignores Luke. Welcome to the stream. So it sounds like a mixed drink, block and blitz. <laughs> Moves the bull center out of the way to get the blitz with the Minotaur. I think it's a good call. Both down resolve a prop. Oh, he doesn't have the reroll. Oh, what's going to happen on the trade here? Got a stun out of it. Didn't get anything out of it. That'll be the end of the first half. One to zero. Dead presidents are in the lead. They'll be on defense here in the second half of the game. Currently 12 v 11. We'll see if the Brewmeisters get back to their knocked out player.
They do not. So it's going to be a one-man player advantage now for the dead presidents. Did I say 12v11? I meant 11v10. <laughs> All right. Um. Well, let's see. Do I want to change this to an anchor defense is the question. I don't, uh, I don't think I do. I think I'm going to stick with this. Both teams up to three re-rolls. The Brewmeisters still sitting on a bribe. The uh, Dead Presidents do not have a bribe. Remember, they have the plus two fame advantage. We also have uh, an advantage on coach assistants as well as cheerleaders. One a pop. Very sunny weather. It's a minus one to passes. Um, has it played an effect at all this game? I, I very much doubt it will uh, have an effect in the second half either. Neither team particularly known for their passing game. Doesn't mean it won't happen. It certainly can happen, but uh, probably won't happen. Here's the kick. Ooh. <laughs> Well, uh, I'm, I'm very sorry, but, uh, we're gonna blitz a you, uh, blitz a you, we're gonna blitz, 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 um, you'll go, you'll go here. We won't go super crazy with this. Um, let me go here. Really, the only threat we have are the bull centaurs. Uh, if he gets it in the hands of the bull centaur, we'll get a turn to compensate. Here's the blitz. Two die blitz. We've got a pal. He'll go here. We're going to stay put. And um, we'll go back here, I think. Um, yeah. It'll be our turn. Ball kicked at 16 yard line. Turn nine now for the Brewmeisters. So we did screen him out on this, uh, on his uh, defensive formation. We'll probably start to group back up here, starting on uh, turn nine, depending on what he wants to do. By screening out this way, uh, um, arguably, uh, this would have been better with a, an anchor defense, but by screening out this way, uh, I'm trying to goad him into taking a, a commit to a block that uh, I can capitalize on. Looks like he's going for the ball pickup right out of the gate. Here it is. Three plus pickup. Failed the pickup. He's going to have to spend the reroll to keep this drive alive. Good pickup. Brewmeister's down to two rerolls. They advance the ball to their own 10 yard line. Still has their blitz. Caging up on their own 10 yard line. Ages up with the number one bull centaur. That's the break tackle bull centaur. Coming up after this game, we have uh, another game this evening in our double header. It'll be Wood Elves versus Necro. Two die block on Harry Truman. Thanks to that horn, he had to spend the blitz to do it. Remember, he does have Mighty Blow. Gotta follow up here. He gets the foul, breaks armor. Gets a KO on Harry Truman, well done. All tied up on the pitch, 10v10.
Dude, I block on Herbert Hoover. It's going to work out due to the block skill. Well done. <laughs> Not Harry the Bomb, Truman. This frees up Doug McKenzie. Card work for all tackle zones or just one? Guard. I can put him here. Yeah. Zombie. Gets an injury. Gouge die. That fellow's gonna miss. Well, he would have missed next game if it wasn't a regen. One man player advantage now for the Brewmeisters. I mean, how am I not going to punch a Minotaur? Like, how am I not going to punch a Minotaur? Like, I block on the line. We'll get a knockdown. He will go here. And we're going to follow up. The Carmer got a stun. Should I blitz the Minotaur? I really should have moved my other players, but I'm so eager for this. I'll get the knockdown. Uh, he is going here. And we are. Staying put. Got a stun on the minnow. On the mino. Is it minnow or mino? <laughs> Sigmar's loop says you don't need to bribe I, to foul. Yeah, I foul would have been would have been cool. Um let's put you here. Let's put you, uh, I feel like I'm getting a little too big for my britches here. I can end up here, uh, unless he gets it in the hands of the bull centaur. Let's, um, you know what? Let's get, let's get big for our britches. Let's get big britches. Um, and you probably should go um, here. Did I block? Um, <laughs> um, push you there. And, um, I really should follow, but I'm going to stay put. That'll be our turn. Turn time for the Brewmeisters. Now they have a decision to make. Are they going to commit to a wide zone or not?
Two die blitz to start things off. Double skulls will have to spend a reroll. Don't get the knockdown on James Polk. Brewmeister's down to one reroll for the game. Polk armor. Popped him right in the head. James Polk is stunned. He's going to commit to a wide zone, it looks like. He's going to try to set this cage up over in the left wide zone. That's a one die skilled block. Not taking it yet. Looks like he might action number nine. Looking for the 50-50 dodge of Doug McKenzie. Failed the dodge. And that'll be a turnover. All right. Turn 10 for the dead presidents. Let's uh, let's get a defense going. Um, let's put you here. Um, let's put you there. Did I block? Uh, sure, we'll take the push. He'll go here. Uh, uh let's see. All right, we set up the front defense. Now let's start working on this guy. Let's go. Let's see, one, two, three, GFI blitz. Um, Uh, maybe we don't blitz. Take two die block. Oh, let's we'll spin that reroll. Yay. You would do, man. We'll get the knockdown. We'll go here. We'll follow up. And then, um, let's put you. Here. Let's put you here. And that'll be our turn. Turn 11 back to the Brewmeisters. Brewmeisters down to one reroll for the game. Stand up the number seven Chaos Dwarf Blocker over on the right side of the line. That's the ghost of Mr. McKenzie. They have a tight cage in the left uh, sideline. Two die block. Has to spend the final reroll to keep this drive alive here. Ah. Takes the both down results. That'll be a turnover. All right, let's um, let's go, shall we? Who do we want to take out? I'm gonna take out the bull centaur. Take out the bull centaur. Or go for the hobgoblin. Let's go for the bull centaur. Um, no, let's go for the hob centaur. Hob. Hob Centaur. Um, I think the Bull Centaur is safer. Hobgoblin has an AB7. It's easier to remove. But I think the Bull Centaur is a safer move to keep the defense intact. We'll advance forward. Um,
Yeah, let's just do it this way. Do a two die. Two die blitz. Ooh, I'll push you back. I'll push you back. Stay put. All right, now let's um. I block here. Uh, we'll take the standing results. Do we want to do anything with James Madison? Um, let's put James Madison. Let's see him where he is. He's got guard. I want to shift him around. Take two die block here. I'll get the knockdown. We'll go here. We'll follow up. I think it's going to be our turn. Um, yeah, let's call it our turn. Turn 12 back to the Brewmeisters. I think the Ranger demands more serious injuries or death, please. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Stand up blitz again. Gets a pal this time with the Minotaur. Got to follow up here. Doesn't break armor. That'll be the blitz. Oh, failed the dodge with the Minotaur. Doesn't spin the reroll. That'll be a turnover. Boom. All right. Um, let's... Uh, Let's actually put you here. Uh, no, let's put you... Oi, oi, oi. Let's put you here. So if I stand you up, if I put you here... Um, I really want to kill that Minotaur, um, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'll, I'll leave you there. I really want to. I think I gotta go after Hobgoblin. Let's go after a Hobgob, shall we? Let's go here. I blitz on number 13. We'll get the pal. He'll... He'll pal right there. And we'll stay put. Um, and now, I think... Um, now I think we do this. Two die block with the pal. We'll go here. Um, and we will follow up. Oops. Uh, he'll go... Uh, he'll go here. He'll go here. He'll go there. That'll be our turn. Final quarter of the game. Turn 13 for the Brewmeister. So you have one reroll for the game. Dead Presidents have two. Segner's Leap says, time for some thrilling heroics. Eh, maybe later. <laughs> Minotaur fails the wild animal roll. He just wanted to reposition that uh, uh, 
that uh, Minotaur wanted to stand him up more than likely. It means the four plus instead of a two plus will stay lying on the ground for this turn. Stands up number 13, takes the two die block on James Polk. He's going to get a push. Uh, probably won't follow up here. Indeed, he does not. Two die block on Mr. McKenzie gets a push. He should know better. Mr. McKenzie used to play for you. You know you can't stop the McKenzie. Looks like they'll be shifting the cage back to center pitch. Maybe not. Well, looks like he may be. Fair enough. Looking for some movement options. Certainly not going to pass the Bull Centaur. <laughs> Hank the Rage says, come on, Ava. Would you rather win a game or kill a Minotaur? <laughs> it's a very compelling argument. <laughs> All right. Um, well... Uh, who's taking the block? You? I, I really want to move Abraham Lincoln. Um, but I think it's got to be Abe Lincoln takes the block. So you are going to go... You're going to go... Um, you're actually going to go here. take this block. Two die block. Um, we'll make it a push. Push it here. Good play. This player is in a position in case he wants to shoot down this left wide zone again. Um, um, let's see, we got some time. Do I want to move him? Um, I think I do. I don't. I think I do. Let's see. Where would he go? One, two, three, four. He's not getting anywhere. Um. You can get there with the hobgoblins. Uh, problem is the white has lots of movement. Um, he wants to shuff, shift back to the left. We'll let him. That's fine. Turn 14. Back to Brewmeisters. Three turns remaining in this ball game. Two dot block on Andrew Jackson is going to be a push. Decides to push him inward and will follow up. This betrays the fact that he might be trying to move to the right wide zone here. And indeed, it looks like that's exactly what he's trying to do. Across the line of scrimmage for the first time in the game. It's going to be on the Dead President's four yard line now. Yeah. 
GFI has to close out that cage. Still has the Blitz on the table. It's going to be a stand-up Blitz by the Minotaur. Two-die Blitz! Oh boy, what a decision to make. Did he take the push? He took the push! Uh-oh. Frenzy follow-up. It's going to be an uphill block. Why is that not an... Oh, he has horns. <laughs> Good knockdown. <laughs> Breaks armor. Injures Andrew Jackson. Oh, disgusting. Regen will fail to SPP to the Minotaur. Now he's taking a bunch of marks with his remaining door shifting him to the right here. Can get the assist. Two GFIs works out. Well done. Turn 14 for the dead presidents now. Um, I really want to GFI with you, buddy. I really want to GFI with you. Um, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to GFI with you. Um, you're going here. Go for it, Herbert Hoover. Go for it, buddy. Well done. All right, we'll take this, um... Uh, um... You need to get here. got to be the one to get there so good luck well done well done james madison and then i think you're going to gfi here and then i think you're gonna go here it's gonna leave me with a re-roll to put you here 50 50 dodge let's do it Look at that. Look at James Polk. So agile. What a graceful character. That'll be the turn. Turn 15 for the Brewmeisters. Two die block on Mr. McKenzie is going to have to be a push result unless he wants the knockdown here. <laughs> Boot Polish says Ava just take a GFI something to fail 900%. <laughs> it's a follow up here. He'll get another block, but it's going to eat up another player. There's that block. Another push on Mr. McKenzie. You can't stop the McKenzie! McKenzie only dies once! This chain push frees up John Adams. Minute four left in turn 15 for the Brewmeisters. Two die block on Mr. McKenzie. What did I just tell you? T 
to die. Blitz now with the Minotaur. He'll get the knockdown on John Adams. Mighty Blow is in effect. He has to follow up due to Frenzy. In fact, he says, any more injuries in the last few minutes? No, not really. Twenty seconds left in the turn. Takes a mark on James Polk. Moves his cage up one space. I think that's going to be the ball game. We'll see. Turn 15 for the dead president. So let's count this out. Hobgoblins. None of the hobgoblins are in position. That leaves only the bull centaur. If we can knock him down, we will win. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's put you here. Even a push will be sufficient. Two die block. Uh, we'll get that knocked down. He's going to go right here. Um, and we're going to... Um, uh, do I really want to put Thomas Jefferson in harm's way? I don't think so. <laughs> we'll knock him down. Uh, all right, Thomas Jefferson, you can just... Uh, you can run back here. Let's just double check. Yeah, nobody can get there. So that'll be the game. Dead presents are going to win this one one to zero. Um, let's uh, let's um, let's put you here. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anybody. All right. Um, I'll, uh, I'll make you take the block on him again. Um, and uh, you can go here. And, um, Let's, um, let's, um, let's leave it like that, shall we? Final turn of the ballgame. Brewmeisters cannot score on this turn. They've got some blocks to take. Maybe take some SPP. Mr. McKenzie, how dare you? It's for changing teams, Mr. McKenzie. <laughs> By the way, he's your most MVP for that last turn, not getting knocked down at all. Yeah, he did a good job. You trained him well. Yeah. Holy smoke, I have Slack. And, and something's going on in Slack. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Brewmeister's looking to get some more hits as they can take them. Maybe they go after uh, John Adams. Why not? Yeah, two die block on John Adams is going to be a push here. He'll get a follow up block. Two die block. One. Oh, he has a reroll. Probably take. Eh, failed the loner roll. It's going to be a both down result. We'll see if the trade works out. 
Nope. <laughs> John Adams is going to safely go away to the KO box. All right, can we uh, can we murder someone? Who can we murder? Um, let's put you here. No respect for you if you don't go in and foul that Minotaur. Oh, I don't, I don't. The Minotaur is never. He he's he's a rookie, you know. He'll <laughs> he'll learn. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take this two die here. Get the knockdown. Go here and follow up. Got a stun out of it. Uh, and then let's... Uh, James Madison, he'll do the honors. Eight plus foul, honorable centaur. Doesn't get anything out of it. That'll be the game. Like GG, man. I have no chance of that. Oh. Eh, played well. Oh, that's great. I'll take it. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Alright, man. Alright, man. Good job. See ya. Alright, see ya. And that'll do. I'm sorry. Slack is going nuts right now. I have no idea what's happening on Slack. <laughs> That'll be the game. That president will, will win this one one to zero. Well, that uh, that elven zombie, he's going to be our MVP. He'll level up. He'll uh, almost certainly take the block skill. The ghost of Bob McKenzie. He will also level up. That's the number two bull centaur. He's the um, the rookie. He'll, he'll level up as well as the MVP. Well done. Uh, ball possession. Uh, the Brewmeisters had it for their entire... Um, their entire half uh, just couldn't get through the uh, the defense of the dead presidents. Uh, I think uh, Malik played a good game here. A good showing with the Chaos uh, team. SPP for this evening. The dead presidents are taking away eight, but the Brewmeisters are taking away a, a hefty 11. Well done, Getty Lee. <laughs> Fly by night. <laughs> Red Barchetta. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the schedule. We're, we're not going to cut the stream. We'll just reset to the... Um, to the countdown. Oh my god, I gotta turn Slack off. <laughs> it's driving me bonkers. We'll take a look at the schedule real quick before we get into this next game. Next up this evening, it's going to be uh, Donkey Teeth versus the Double Dippers, Dead Fred versus Sweet Bunny. Uh, that will be in just about half an hour, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. It's UTC minus 6. Uh, I can't remember if I said it, but it's going to be Wood Elves versus Necro. Uh, I'm looking forward to that matchup. Uh, that will be a Division B matchup. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take like a, a five minute break and then we'll reset the countdown like we always do and we'll get right into that game. So uh, stick around, uh, get yourself something to drink, something to eat, perhaps. Uh, it, uh, it's going to prove to be a, a pretty good game. I think both are fantastic coaches, Dead Fred and Sweet Bunny themselves. Uh, <laughs> SP Beaver and Clifius, thank you both for, for the bits. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll we'll just uh, we'll uh, we'll hang out for about five minutes, and then the countdown will start, and then I'll see you guys back here. Uh, the the pregame is going to start at eight fifty p.m. So the pregame is going to start in about twenty minutes. Um, so yeah, so stick around, and we'll see you back here for the second game of the doubleheader.